Hello from Sumter, South Carolina at the Palmetto Center, home to the ITA Small College National Championship, where George Gwinnett has captured not one, not two, but three NAI individual national titles. Well, Val, you know, her main goal was to come in and win the NAI national singles title, and she did that, um, played extremely well, put, put together three quality matches in a row. For her to, to win that thing and bring that back to Lawrenceville was, was huge. Uh, she didn't get it done last year, so uh, for her to put that on her resume is big for her. Extremely proud of Val, and uh, she represented us extremely well. It's everything you live for. It's just uh, every, every semester I try to look forward to something and try to set a goal for myself, and that's what I'm working for. Otherwise, it's very hard to get up at 6 a.m. I really want to get the national championship, especially after... Uh, missing out on it last year and not even making it to the final so yeah I really set a goal for myself this year and I was really happy to achieve it. I certainly feel Kevin is one of the best college tennis players in the country maybe the best who have a chance to prove that in New York. I mean I woke up at 6 15 or something like that and we were here like 12 hours with the whole team I was like eight hours or eight hours and a half in the court we have a huge battle with my partner Jordan uh, the morning three hours but my tennis was there helping me and I also like thinking about every point, at this point, at this moment, and not thinking about the score. That was the, the best thing I did. Well, I think Kevin and Jordan are a prime example of two guys that, you know, become close off the court. They become really good friends. Uh, they got a great friendship and that really translate in, into a great doubles team. It's obviously a big match being the finals of the NAI championship, but we're playing our teammates. So um, at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation and we're all great friends. So I'm going to be happy if they win. And obviously I'm going to be happy if we win. We were ready to go. We were pumped up. But again, it was it was exciting to have two GGC teams in the finals. As if three championships weren't enough, Kevin Confederac continued his journey as one of the best players in all of collegiate tennis. Confederac won the ITA Small College Super Bowl, defeating the number one player at the NCAA Division II level. Yeah, it was a pretty good match. My forehand helped me all weekend. Uh, also, my slice with this win helps a lot. I mean, the other guy didn't know what to do. The energy, I don't know. It's just every point, every moment, enjoy and try to fight and do your best. And that's it. I mean, not thinking about what's, what's next. I'm just so happy, enjoying the moment. Uh, I wasn't ready for any of this, but I'm just happy. And I can't believe like, all this happened. For Kevin to, to win the Sportsmanship Award of all the players here and be the Super Bowl champion it certainly shows you uh, the type of competitors that we have here uh, at George Gwinnett. The Grizzlies weren't done there as Confederate teamed up with Jordan Cox to defeat the Division II pair from Concordia to win the men's doubles ITA Small College Super Bowl. Feels really good, and I'm glad uh, Kevin and I, you know, stepped up this week and played good tennis. Uh, the motivation for the past month and a half, two months. Pretty much all fall was to get to New York City. And the fact that Kevin's going in singles and that we get to go in doubles, uh, something really special that we're going to really cherish. Keep fighting and keep grinding. Um, and it, it's nice. It's, it's a good thing to enjoy. And, and like he said, I think we can do a lot of damage there. Played extremely well. You just take it one match at a time for us to bring three national championships back from the NAI standpoint. And then two Super Bowl titles is, is huge. Uh, but New York's been the goal. That's what we've been talking about since uh, the first day of practice. Going with the confidence that we have, you know, it'll speak for itself and everybody will see that the NAI champs are there to play. What they've accomplished is, is unbelievable. I mean, this is insane. I mean, this is awesome. Another successful trip for GGC Tennis as three national championships are headed back to Lawrenceville. The Grizzlies will continue their journey as one of the best tennis programs in the country November 13th through the 15th at the Billie Jean King Tennis Center in New York City. For more information, log on to grizzlyathletics.com. From Sumter, South Carolina, I'm Matt Mahoney for the Grizzly Digital Network.